So this morning didn't go so well with the cats. Usually it's pretty rough getting up first thing in the morning and having to clean up after what they've gotten into and what they've done first thing. So got up extra early today because I was supposed to go to the DMV today to renew my driver's license because it's expired. But I get up first thing into our bathroom and there's cat pee that's been tracked with litter on it out of the box. And usually Skittles, the mom who stays in the bedroom with us, is pretty good, but she doesn't really bury anything, so she stepped in it and tracked it through the bathroom out onto the carpet. Then in the kitten's bathroom, over in Matt's bathroom, there's poop tracked all over his floor, out onto the carpet. I wake up and I see this annoying chair in the way and I'm like, why in the world is this weird thing right there? There was a chair in the hallway that was covering a hazardous area, apparently. Scott thought it might have been um, kitten poop, but it, might, it looked a little on the green tinge, so it might be kitten barf. It's like they got in there and flung poop all over inside the cat box, on the ceiling, on the sides, everywhere inside there. It, with them having diarrhea right now, apparently they stepped in it, and but then some of them just go wild in their digging, so they flung it everywhere in there and end up finding out that it's all over the back foot of one of the kittens. It's hard for me to, to wake up to that, first of all, because I have two degenerated discs in my back, and it's hard to, first thing in the morning, be bending over, cleaning up things and cleaning out cat boxes, because that puts a strain on my back. So it's already strained. And then as I'm cleaning it up, um, I clean had to clean the whole floor up with toilet paper and throwing that in the toilet. Then the toilet clogs. Then as I'm bent over trying to clean things up, I sneezed, which is the worst thing that you can do for a bad back, especially when you're bent over, especially when it's strained first thing in the morning, and threw my back out. So I just had to go back to bed and try to relax it to keep it from seizing up on me too bad. So it's just not a good morning, not a good morning with the cats. The kitten litter box didn't have as much litter left, and so I needed to dump it and then put the clumping, some of the clumping litter from Mama Skittles' litter box in there. So they're kind of sharing, but the kittens still have a little less than they should have, so we need to put some more in there. It's like they're trying to get me to not be a person that likes cats. Pretty stressful thing to wake up to and then to be down for the count because of my back too. That's just not cool. I think Lemur's trying to get me to like cats again. She's trying to butter me up. We've come across, maybe you have too, um, I think his name is Ga Jackson Galaxy. And yeah. he's like the cat whisperer. He recommended um, Physion. So apparently it takes care of blood and urine and feces and vomit. I mean all kinds of things that the cats can do to mess up your carpet. So is that like glorified Alka-Seltzer? Uh, kind of. And so, <laughs> but you know the incredible thing is if you guys don't know this, because uh, I didn't know this for a long time, that hydrogen peroxide, if you ever get blood on any sort of fabric, carpet, anything, just use hydrogen peroxide. It's amazing. So I think that's kind of the same uh, concept here. The CO2, the oxygen in it, um, I think breaks up that acid, oil, urine, whatever stuff is in it and breaks it up because it says it even works for blood. There you have it, Christian Adventure Films cleaning show. You need to <laughs> clean anything, just come to us. We'll let you know how to do it. Even Physion. <laughs> Don't touch it. Don't breathe it. Don't make eye contact. Okay, here she goes. She's gonna check it out, see if it's gonna work. She did clean it there before. With what did you clean it with? I cleaned it with a carpet cleaner and then I also took some baking soda. You don't rub it, you just pat it? That's what it says. Huh. 
Alright, so I guess we'll let you guys know how this stuff ends up working. It says not to saturate it either. If you want to take care of odor, then you spray it on and you just let it dry. Already, it kind of looks like the cats kind of like the smell or something. Matt said lemur was licking it. They were all licking it. Oh, okay. little Skittles. She's lost interest already. Lemur's moving on in. She's doing it. Shaking her feet <laughs> because it's wet. Oh, she's done. They're going to leave it alone, so that's a good sign. Hi, lemur. Cats have been showing Jennifer and giving her a taste of my nightmare every morning. Oh, Hoping and stepping in it and flinging it all over, getting it on their paws and tracking it through our house. And little Oreo says, thanks, let me step in it first and then I'll bury my foot as I step on it. He, she's kind of mellow, but when she goes poop, she starts flinging. We've got some poop flinging kitties. Yeah, you guys. When they say when the poop flies, it's just a saying. You don't really have to do it. Jennifer's a little more mellow than when I'm going through it. Usually when I'm going through it, you hear grumble, grumble, grumble. Are you just grumbling on the inside, hun? Well, it's like babies. They're like babies. And so, yeah, they take a little more effort than, than most. But, I mean, it's not terrible. The way you said it, I thought they had just done the big mess that they just did in the other bathroom. But this was nothing. Well, I couldn't tell. Blackie stepped tell, in it. So I'm just going to tell you a big old story and freak you out. Blackie stepped in it and then just started flinging her paws all over I'm in there. I'm volatile and everything is a big deal. I mean, they're going where they're supposed to. Yeah, that's a good thing. If they just kept it inside the box, that would be another thing. Blackie didn't have runny poop that time. She just steps in it and then gets it all over her foot and then walks all over our house, all over the carpet and everything. And same with Lemur. I don't know how long she was going with it just smeared all over the bottom of her well, foot okay. walking around our house. It looked like somebody had runny poop in the other bathroom. Well, this like one, it didn't look runny, did it, when you got it? No. It wasn't. She just They just step in it. There were probably about three times today where they just made some big messes with the cat boxes. You know, God may allow this to happen to get me to get some rest today because we've been kind of pushing it lately. We, I've been getting up early, like seven o'clock, and then we don't, we kind of go until 11.30 to two o'clock in the morning, just about every night, just kind of wearing ourselves out trying to do everything that we do and take care of the cats. Kind of lost my cool a little bit today and kind of did not act the way that I know God would want me to act. Okay guys, so today I kind of lost my cool and got really frustrated over the cat thing today. And I know that is definitely not the proper way to act and not setting a good example and not the way that God would want me to act. So I'm sorry for the way I acted and will you guys forgive me for acting in a way that is not very good. Yep, definitely. So Matt, that is definitely not an example of how we deal with frustrating situations. What? Oh. Losing my cool and getting all mad and grumbling and griping and all that.
because did all that getting mad and grumbling and griping help anything out? No. It seemed to kind of make it worse. A lot worse. Yep. Not only that, it made it worse for me and my back, too. Tensed my back all up. Yep. So then I was laid out again. Not only that, <laughs> probably made mom get sick. I don't think it made me get sick, but I'm just um, really thankful because in the heat of the moment, you know, as husband and wife, the temptation is to get in it, and um, but I didn't. I've been praying about it, praying about, you know, God helping me to see it the way He sees it, and thinking about, you know, the concern of what it teaches Matthew. And I'm so thankful that when I go to God and I ask Him for help, and obviously my spouse is doing the same thing, and so I didn't have to say anything, I didn't have to get in His face, thankfully. He's a godly man, and God already worked in his heart and said all the things that were already on my mind. So, God's good. My husband is too. I don't feel very good. I feel like I'm gonna barf. Poor hon. Tacos must not have set good with her. Yeah. Do you guys feel icky or just me? It's just you. Just my back, not my stomach probably hear a lot of this in the videos but that keeps our house cool Oreo just hanging out with her buddy Matt playing Minecraft she just likes hanging out with him when he's playing video games because he's pretty still below mom is polar bear in his napping spot Underneath the chair. Yeah, buddy. They sure look cute and innocent, don't they? When they're sleeping. They love mom. So I think sometimes God allows things in our lives to happen to kind of slow us down. Jennifer and I have really been pushing it a lot for quite a long time now. And I actually had to lay down a lot today because of my back. That's the one thing that really helps out when I throw my back out like that is just resting it. Resting is a huge thing. And something that I think is really helping it out is this massager that Jennifer's dad, grandpa, let us borrow. This thing, I think, made a big difference. So I just laid here on my stomach and use this on my back today and it really this is a really cool massager it's really powerful you could sit in a chair and lean into it to really get a deep massage but with my back just being hurt today it felt really good to just kind of run this on my back and try to loosen things up home medics it looks like is what it's called home medics but it's this thing is nice. If you have back issues, get the thumbs up from me. Kittens really miss their mom. They're just like following her. They really miss her. But they're getting sick trying to feed too much. So got to keep them separated for a little while. Trying to squirt them with a squirt bottle to try to keep them away. Skittle knows they're not supposed to. Here they come. Ooh, Skittles is biting them. I have a feeling she's looking for a spot where she can get away with feeding them. Are you just trying to get away from them, huh, Skittle? You can't even go to get a drink without them cutting you off, can you, Skittle? No. Poor Skittle. She loves her baby kittens, but 
I just won't leave her alone. 